This photo, shared by an Islamic State-linked news agency, shows the four men they claim were involved in the concert hall attack in Moscow. They're part of the Islamic State's Afghan branch, known as ISIS-K. It's named after Khorasan, an old term for the region that included parts of Afghanistan, Iran and Turkmenistan. The group emerged in eastern Afghanistan in 2014 as an alternative to the Taliban and is one of the most active regional affiliates of the Islamic State militant group. It was just a year ago that US General Michael Carrilla warned Congress about the risk posed by ISIS-K. I assess ISIS Khorasan retains the capability and the will to attack US and Western interests abroad in as little as six months with little to no warning. But it's not just about the West. Russia has also long been a target for ISIS-K. Reasons include the legacy of the Soviet-Afghan war, but also Russia's fight against separatists in Chechnya, where a number of insurgents fought under the ISIS banner. Vladimir Putin also backed the Assad regime in its fight against the Islamic State in Syria. So Russia is seen as working with Syria, fighting Muslims in the Caucasus and Central Asia. And then if you go to ISIS-K itself, um, it is very critical of the Taliban, and it blames the Taliban for being too close to Russia. Uh, so both the group in particular, but also the broader, broader community, are very anti-Russian. ISIS-K has a history of brutal attacks both inside and outside Afghanistan. Earlier this year, the group carried out twin bombings in Iran, killing nearly 100 people. It was also responsible for a deadly attack on Kabul International Airport in 2021, which killed 13 U.S. service members and more than 150 Afghans seeking to flee the country.